2010, the Global Green Growth Institute was founded by the Republic of Korea to launch the country's journey and vision of growing the economy through a sustainable model of economic development. Green growth. Even during its first years, GGGI was able to form significant and strong partnerships with countries on the same pathway toward green growth, most of which continue to this day. Two years later, GGGI was established as a treaty-based intergovernmental organization at the Rio Plus 20 United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development in October 2012, thus further widening its reach beyond Korea to promote a green growth model of development around the globe. Since then, GGGI has proven itself to be a trusted advisor to its members and partners in their transformation toward becoming low-carbon and resilient economies, as well as in achieving their NDC commitments and SDG targets. GGGI works with various partners at the global, regional, and local levels, and the combined efforts have led to more effective results to combat the climate crisis and achieve sustainable, inclusive development for all. GGGI, first and foremost, provides for the province the strengthening of the green growth planning. That's a very important thing. And this project collaboration between GGGI and the province of Oriental Mindoro will surely redound to the benefit of the farmers. Our farmers, which are actually the biggest drivers of the local economy. <laughs> The key work that GGI does for its members is, on the one hand, policy work. We started the organization mostly developing green growth strategies for our members, but since the Paris Agreement, since 2015, much of it now is NDCs or carbon neutrality strategies. Uh, and the fact that we are embedded in government and therefore can work not just handing over some advice but working with government until the cabinet adopts policies is a really unique benefit of GDGI. In addition, most governments appreciate that we don't only develop policies but then help develop projects, vehicles to implement those policies and mobilize money, mobilize green and climate finance to implement those policies and we are proud and our members appreciate most. We've now mobilized more than $7 billion to implement green growth policies and strategies in our member countries. GGGI's achievements and successes over the years are made possible by a team of qualified and competent individuals whose contributions reflect their dedication to green growth. We optimize our expertise by matching the jobs at hand with our skill set as well as providing right tools to our teams, mainly to support our countries to address their needs as well as be really visionary, ambitious and bold on the ground. And we have an amazing set of skills at GGGI to develop and deliver policies with that long-term vision as well as mobilize resources and investment to support action on the ground. We call our team our gold. Guided by its core values of integrity, transformational, inclusive, boldness and excellence, the organization continues to create a culture that enables and motivates its management and staff to provide the best services and solutions that promote green growth. In the Pacific, the, the well-being of our staff is a top priority and we listen and take on ideas to create a green and inclusive and safe and enjoyable workspace for everyone. Um, we want to create impact with our work, uh, we know that climate action is really urgent and that's the starting point for conversations with our member countries, our stakeholders and our partners. So we have that common goal and, and vision and then we sit down and work out together how to get there. At DGGI, we combine experience, sound technical analysis, and creativity to develop transformational solutions that respond to the most pressing challenges of our member countries. We also approach our work with optimism and integrity, working hand-in-hand -in -hand with our counterparts and stakeholders to ensure solutions 
are inclusive of beneficiaries. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, GGGI continues to provide innovative green growth solutions for the changing needs of its members and partners. For example, in 2021, it provided NDC support to 30 countries, as well as contributed to the Green Recovery Plan development of 15 countries. Despite challenges posed by the pandemic, the organization proved itself resilient and able to respond to the needs of its members and partners. GGGI remained relevant and responsive through the COVID-19 pandemic for two main reasons. Programmatically, we very quickly acknowledged that the crisis called for higher green ambitions and more inclusive green growth in global justice. Secondly, GGGI also recognized how its staff, partners and their families became vulnerable through the pandemic and allowed the flexibility and support for people to manage work and life through the challenging times. An organization that focuses on its people will definitely have the resilience to go through the times that we will experience in regards to the pandemic. And that's exactly what GGGI did to ensure that staff, consultants, interns everywhere across the globe are safe through sharing information as well as working together with different authorities to ensure that work gets done irrespective of the challenges of COVID-19. Guided by its strategy 2030, GGGI's programs and projects respond to the needs of its members and partners through its global operational priorities and their corresponding programmatic solutions. With the Strategy 2030, GGGI as an intergovernmental organization ambitions to transform the economies of our members and partners into a green growth model. That will require the mobilization of at least $16 billion of green and climate finance commitments to generate at least 2 million green jobs, provide access to at least $100 million people in sustainable services, and help reduce the GSG emission by by at least one gigaton. Our strategy 2030 is absolutely critical to the path that the world is going to take. In each of our countries, we tailor what we do to the priorities of the country. So whether it's protecting our carbon sinks, supporting climate resilience in terms of climate smart agriculture, supporting sustainable waste management in terms of circular economy, or transforming economies in terms of renewable energy scale-up. Everything we do, and in particular green jobs and creating green jobs, is helping countries with their green growth. We have some really exciting work, and especially for me, linking our policy support, so helping with the NDCs of countries, helping with their green growth strategies and green recovery strategies, and then linking that to implementation on the ground, for instance, through project preparation, pre-feasibility and feasibility work, and supporting our country governments to mobilise private sector and public sector finance for these really critical projects and initiatives. This, we think, is so important to each country's green growth, but together contributes to helping the world be on the trajectory it really needs to be on to stay within the 1.5 degrees of climate and also protect the biodiversity that the world needs to survive. Looking ahead, GGGI continues to be a sustainable and world-class intergovernmental organization that delivers high-quality solutions to achieve green growth. As an international organization, GGGI has demonstrated to its member states and to its partners that it is a trusted advisor to help accelerate the transition to green growth. I foresee that the global recognition of GGGI for its expertise and track record of providing innovative green growth solutions will only grow in the years to come. I look forward to seeing GGGI contributing significantly to help solve the climate crisis amidst the unpredictable global challenges and how it will achieve its vision of promoting a low-carbon and resilient world of sustainable and inclusive growth.